Hello everyone! Sa video na ito ay pag-uusapan naman natin ang mathematical system, specifically postulate. At the end of this video, you will be able to illustrate the need for an axiomatic structure of a mathematical system in general and particularly the postulates on geometry. Number 2, illustrate a postulate. Then identify the postulate applied in a given situation and justify a given statement by a postulate. Hello everyone! Welcome back to my YouTube channel! Kung bago ka pa lang sa channel ko, gumagawa ako ng mga Tagalog tutorial videos mula grade 7 hanggang grade 11. Kung interesado ka, please like, subscribe, at i-click mo na rin ang notification bell para ma-notify ka kapag may bago akong upload na video. Just keep on watching! Good day everyone! Bago natin simulan ang ating discussion, itry nyo munang sagutan ang mga statements na to. Tell whether the given statement is true or false. Pwede nyong i-pause ang video at i-resume ninyo pagkatapos ninyong sagutan. Okay, let us check your answers. Number one, two points are always collinear. That is false. Number two, any three points are always coplanar. That is true. Number three, Two planes intersect at a point. That is false. Number four, postulates are used to prove theorems. That is true. Number five, there is exactly two lines through points R and T. That is false. Ilan ang nakuha mo? I-comment mo lang sa baba. So, mamaya, malalaman ninyo kung ano nga ba yung mga terms na ito or yung mga statements na ito. Okay? So, ano nga ba ang postulate? Ang postulates, these are statements that are assumed to be true without proof. For example, the line postulate. For every two points, there is exactly one line that contains both points. Ano nga bang ibig sabihin nitong line postulate? For every two points daw, itong two points, point A and point B, there is exactly one line that contains both points. So, meron daw one line na nagko-contain sa both points. And that is true. Then, next naman, the plane postulate. Ano naman itong plane postulate? Any three points lie in at least one plane. So, any three points daw itong point X, point Y, point Z ay nasa isang plane. Any three non-collinear points lie in exactly one plane. So, kapag non-collinear, scattered sila, wala sila sa iisang line at naandun sila sa isang plane, okay? Tandaan niyo yung mga statements na para sa ganon ay makabisado ninyo yung mga postulates. Any three points are always coplanar. Anong ibig sabihin nito? Yung three points daw, nandito sila sa isang plane. Non-collinear points X, Y, Z lie on plane M only, okay? Kung makikita ninyo dito, yung X, Y, Z ay nasa plane na M. So, that is the plane postulate. Next naman na postulate ay yung the flat plane postulate. Ano naman ito? If two points of a line lie in a plane, then the line lies in the same plane. Kapag daw yung two points of a line lie in a plane, ang ibig sabihin daw yung line na ito lies in the same plane. Okay? Again, yung two points ng line Kapag nag sa isang plane, ibig sabihin yung line na ito, nag din siya sa plane na ito. So, kaya siya postulate. Kasi in na natin na true itong statement na to. Point X and Z lie in a plane M. Kapag yung point X at point Z ay nag sa plane M, ang ibig sabihin daw yung line XZ ay nag siya sa plane M. Okay? So, that is true naman. These postulates describe the flatness of the plane. Isang plane lang siya. Next na postulate naman ay yung the plane intersection postulate. Ito naman, if two different planes intersect, then their intersection is a line. Ibig sabihin daw nun, kapag yung plane na ito at yung plane na ito ay nag-intersect, ang intersection daw nila ay line. Okay, as you can see here, yung plane K at yung plane S, nag-intersect sila sa line Fn. 
nagtama sila or nagmit sila sa line FN. That is the plain intersection postulate. For example, name the postulate that is modeled by the following illustrations. Letter A, the feet of the camera tripod on the floor. Anong postulate itong letter A? Yung fit ng camera daw. Kita nyo naman dito na yung paa ng camera tripod nandito sa floor. Anong postulate yan? That is plain postulate. The three feet of the camera tripod are points since on the floor. Any three non-collinear points lie in exactly one plane. Ang ibig sabihin niyan, yung paa ng tripod ay non-collinear points na naglalay siya sa iisang plane. Letter B, string held by kids while playing Chinese garter. Anong postulate ang nagamit dito? As you can see, yung string, yan, naging line, tapos may ano dito, point. Anong postulate yan? That is line postulate. So, for every two points, there is exactly one line that contains both points. Kung makikita nyo naman, it, itong isang point at itong isang point, nag-form sila ng line. That is the line postulate. Another one, cardboard protection of glass wheels. Anong postulate ito yung nag-intersect yung dalawang plane? That is, plane intersection postulate. So, the intersection of two planes is a line. Kung makikita ninyo, yung intersection nila dito ay line. Example number two, determine whether each statement is always, sometimes, or never true. Letter A, points E, F, and G are non-coplanar points. That is, never. Kasi, plane postulates states that any three points lie in at least one plane. Thus, any three points are always coplanar. Hindi siya non-coplanar points. Always coplanar siya. Letter B, points C and D are in plane R. Any points collinear with C and D is in plane R. So, meron tayong plane na R at merong points at point C and point D. Lahat daw ng points collinear with C and D, ibig sabihin kapag ito, C and D, is in plane R. So, lahat daw ng points collinear with C and D ay nasa plane R din. That is always true. Kasi, flat plane postulate states if two points lie in a plane, then the entire line containing those points lie in the plane. For example, dito sa example natin, yung point C at point D, kung meron pang point dito sa point C, example sa gitna, ibig sabihin, Nandun siya sa plane R. That is always true. If points L, U, and V lie on a plane, then they are collinear. So, kapag daw yung points L, U, and V daw lie on a plane N, they are collinear daw. Collinear ba yung L, U, V? Sometimes, kasi pwede namang scattered sila or nasa isang line lang sila. L, U, V. Okay, so ganyan. Tapos nasa line, plane N. Pero dito, ba diba, pwede silang mag-scattered. Hindi sila collinear dito. So, sometimes lang. In plane postulate, the points do not have to be collinear to lie in a plane. Okay? Pwede rin silang maging non-collinear. Kagaya nito. Next postulate, the segment addition postulate. If L is between F and Y, then FL plus LY equals FY. So, dito naman sa postulate na to, kapag daw yung L ay nasa pagitan ng point F at point Y, ito ay tinatawag na segment addition postulate. Kapag ito ay 5 cm at ito naman ay 2 cm, ang, ang gagawin lang natin, i-add lang natin yung segment FL and segment LY. That is equal to segment FY. So, 5 cm plus 2 cm equals 7 cm. Yan naman yung segment addition postulate. Next naman, yung angle addition postulate. Ano naman ito? If N is in the interior of angle QRS, ito daw yung N ay nasa interior ng angle QRS. Then, measurement of angle QRN, ito, Plus measurement of angle NRS is equal to the measurement of QRS daw. So, that is 80 plus 40 equals QRS. 
and that is equal to 120. I-add lang natin yung angle na dalawa. Next, right angle postulate. Ano naman ito? All right angles are equal or congruent. If angle F and angle L and angle Y are right angles, then angle F is congruent to angle L is congruent to angle Y. Kahit ito malaki, ito maliit, ito ay medyo malaki, ang measurement nila ay 90 degrees pa rin, ibig sabihin equal pa rin sila. Okay? Maraming salamat sa inyong panonood. Sana marami kayong natutunan sa video na to. Kung meron kayong mga katanungan or clarifications, just comment down below. At kung nagustuhan ninyo ang video na to, please like, subscribe, at ishare nyo na rin sa mga classmates ninyo. Once again, stay home, stay safe, stay healthy, at mag-aral ng mabuti. God bless you all and goodbye!